What do you think on the comment I made early on around kind of part hospitality, part um, real estate, do you think that people get into this thinking it's a real estate play only to kind of wake up and realize it's like a hospitality play uh, in a lot of, in a lot of ways? I have a great quote on this. I, I say, you're buying a hospitality business wrapped around real estate. Don't, don't get it confused. You are not buying real estate. You are buying a hospitality business wrapped around real estate. And, you know, here, here's an example for you. So, you know, we've bought existing short-term rentals. We typically don't because if somebody has a short-term rental or selling, they think it's worth all of King Midas's gold and, and you know, we're just right. not going to overpay for something. Um, we're not emotional, but we have, when the deal was right, bought existing ones. So for example, we bought an existing one where we just saw terrible operations, great location, great property. Um, it was doing 145,000 in revenue. We did some small updates, like again, 10, 15 grand, nothing huge, nothing big overhaul. And we've turned that property into 211,000 in revenue. So, you know, I'd argue you could give the keys of our exact portfolio. We, we could hand the keys over to another operator and revenue could drop 30% overnight. They don't know how to manage it. They don't know how to optimize the booking calendar, the booking lead time. They're underpricing it or they're overpricing it. It's sitting unoccupied. Operations is everything, you know, in, in this asset class. And I always tell people, you know, you can see 50 or even 100% differences from operators versus multifamily where you're not really going to. And, you know, if there's a $2,000, you know, two bedroom apartment for rent, and 2000 is market rent, maybe you're the best leasing agent in the world. At best, you're going to get 2200 for that place. That's a 10% increase. In, in short-term rentals, you know, you might be able to get 5K a month, but I could easily go get 8 or 9K. So the spreads and operations are, are really where everything's made. Yes, you make your money on the buy. That is a common thing. But I would also argue you can out-operate people, which is why also we've paid for products where people might look at that and be like, man, did you guys overpay for that? And we just say, no, we look at the data, we look at our operations and we say, no, like we, we can operate within these very well. And so those are, you know, things people don't understand with this asset class is this is not real estate. Um, this is not passive. This is an, a hospitality business wrapped around real estate. 